what is up guys today i'm here to teach you how to enhance this brick wall that we've created in the previous video in the first video we actually see how to create this brick wall and the second video we learn how to create these wooden planks okay now third to enhance this we're going to add posters to it now earlier on it began off as a zombie apocalyptic wall and now what we're going to do is that we're going to create a diorama for the batman lego minifigure photo shoot so what we're going to do is we're going to create a poster here Okay, now what we're going to do today is somehow different is that we're going to heat up Adobe Illustrator. Alright, now the size is entirely up to you, but let me just show you what I'm going to do, alright? Number one is this, if you were to create this box right here, you'd click on this box right here, you can actually hold the mouse and just drag it. Now you have this box right here, but the measurement wouldn't be accurate. So what we're going to do is that we're going to measure the box that you want, and then just instead of holding the mouse, just click it. Okay, you're gonna click once, and you're just gonna set the amount that you want. And make sure this PT is changed to CM or to MM based on your preference. Alright, so anyway, I have the size that I roughly knew I want. So what we're gonna do is this, alright? First, you're gonna untick this border away. Alright, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create an extra layer here. And how to create an extra layer? Just click on this, hold shift and alternate. Just hold it, hit shift and out, and then you just going to pull it and you have this right here. You don't need the shift button actually, but it's just going to move around. So you hold shift, it's going to go straight. Alright, so let's get started. So firstly, what I want to do is I want to create a Harvey Dent poster for the election. I want to create an election Harvey Dent poster. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to hit up the star tool. Alright, now if you hold the mouse and just drag it, you're going to get a fat star. Now what you want to do is that you want to hit control, hold control, and there you have it. You have a more sharper star. Or if you don't want to do this, you can hit alternate and you have a more solid star. And what you want to do is that you basically see the star is moving left to right, left to right. And what you want to do is that you're gonna hold shift. So the star is gonna be stagnant. Alright, so we're gonna hold it and then we're gonna click this button right here, hold on this, alternate and shift. Okay, so you're gonna pull this again. Hold this alternate shift. So you're gonna have four stars. Alright, now what we're gonna do today is that we're gonna hold this again, alternate the shift, we're gonna create five stars. Alright, now what these five stars, as you can see, they're not all symmetrical. Alright, they're not all exactly, they're not all symmetrical as you can see, the distance of the stars might be different. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna open this line. Alright, what we're gonna do with this line is that, as you can see, the first one right here shows two boxes with a line. As you can see, these two boxes here shows the align, the align icon. And what you can see here is that there's actually two boxes touching a wall. So which means if you hit these two and press this, both is going to hit the one direction. So as you can see, one is in the middle and one is towards the right. One is towards the top, one is towards the middle and one is towards the bottom. So it's not hard actually. So you're going to hold all of this and as you can see, Fifth one, the fifth icon over here shows horizontal distribute center, which means it's gonna move everything into the center. If I can show you again. Now how this tool works is that it actually judges from the first and the last star. So in whatever in the middle is gonna align by itself. So you're gonna select everything again right here. Fifth icon, hit, and it's all here. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna align it in the middle so everything is in sync. All right. So now what we're gonna do is that you're gonna move this star right here. You're gonna right click. Group basically means that it's all locked together and it's not going to separate, alright? It's locked all together or you can hit Ctrl G, up to you. Alright, so once you do this, I want you to just hold alternate and shift, pull up, hold alternate and shift, pull up. Now you have three levels of stars and what I'm going to do here is this actually. So pull this up just a little bit more, select everything, align the second icon, once all is aligned, I want to ungroup this remove one star and then group it back again and select everything and send it to the middle so you have this uh, unified stars to create this uh, American flag effect so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this here and now I want you to hit this rectangle tool come right to the side as you can see when you come to the side there is a green line that shows the alignment so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna pull down Okay, and now I'll just do this randomly, right? 
we don't really need the exact stripes on from the flag we don't really need the exact stripes from the flag so what you do is that i'm just gonna select this randomly same method as the stars you're just gonna pull out a random one now there's this one thing that i felt that okay let's just say for example i only need six bars now with these six bars i actually want to align it to make sure it's, uh, it's aligned so if let's say we have to put this one all the way here and when we rearrange this, as you can see, it might be too far apart. But if let's say you want it at this distance and you want it to be thicker to match this line here. So what you're going to do is you're going to select everything here, hold the last part, and just going to pull it. So as you can see, all goes back together. But it's okay, let's go on this way. We're going to align this one here, select everything, balance it out, hit the balance button, and then now group it. So now what you have right here is an American flag design. So we're going to hit on font, this T icon here, type tool, just going to hit this one here and just uh, say Harvey that. Alright, now what you're going to do is that you're going to right click font. Now you can choose any font you want but I would say something that is more suitable for election campaigns and stuff that makes it look more like an election campaign. I'm going to use a font called Bebas. So, as you can see, it looks like this, right? Again, this is based on my preference. You can use whatever fonts you want. Feel free to do whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. Click on this. I'm going to click on Harvey then right click, create outlines, right? Now I'm going to select this again. Use your color tool and just search white and just hit the white, all right? Select all of this again, align. All right, now it will look more like a election campaign you have the word vote for so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select vote for okay by the way when you drag this out make sure to hold the shift button so that it's symmetrical and you don't want to let go of the shift button and you see this is what happens and this is what happens so yeah you're going to hold shift pull out and what I would want to do now is to create a box this section here I'm going to select another line, shift and alternate again, so you can create another line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to select the whole thing, I'm just going to select these two lines. And then, now we're going to learn something new, Pathfinder. Now how Pathfinder works is similar to a line. A line basically, the icon basically tells you what is going to happen. So if you look at Pathfinder here, two boxes combined means you're going to merge these two files together. This one shows minusing tool so what happens with this minusing tool is that for example if you were to create a circle and a square you're going to put it in the middle and when you use this second icon right here it's going to create a hole in the middle of the box and so on just play along with this and you'll get a hang of it as time goes what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this two you can either merge it together or you can right click and group it up to you so i'm going to hit work for create outlines select this whole thing go to align set to middle set the middle horizontal and vertically you're going to set it in the middle so what we're going to do is that now you're going to ctrl g select all of this change to white and then you're going to come here you're going to set it into the middle all right so now what you have here you're going to hold the whole thing again set it in the middle now group this whole thing and what you're going to do is that you're going to arrange this up this way then you're gonna put it here right in the middle so it might not be in the middle now but you don't really need to okay, now let me show you what I meant by that okay, I'm gonna arrange this okay I'm gonna select set to middle and you have to make sure that this white box okay let me just show you if I hit this to black okay, let's just say if this is the black one okay what you want to do is that you want to click on the white section and then gonna arrange arrange bring to front all right now don't panic it's not going to go anywhere it's just a layer it's just uh, now the white box is above the the green now the white section is just above your artwork so what you're going to do is that you're going to select everything okay now the thing is that why is it important to group up is because now ai needs to know what do you want to cover what you want to do now we're going to do something called masking all right you're going to select this paste it underneath this white section right here hold everything just to double check align it select everything hit ctrl 7 and now there you have it 
everything is in one box and what you want to do is that you want to arrange it right here so you have the background alright select the whole thing put it on the A4 the whole shift bring it to your A4 this is your A4 platform by the way so you want to hold everything right here select group this is to actually group up the masking layer and the white layer underneath the layer so what you want to do is that you are going to hold here hit shift Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to duplicate this poster right here. So you're gonna click it, alternate and shift, you're gonna pull an extra layer. Alright, click alternate and shift, you're gonna pull an extra layer. Now you're gonna do a shortcut, you're gonna hold two of these and gonna shift another extra two layer. So what I'm, what I'm actually doing right here is that I'm actually creating spares before I print out this poster. Just in case something goes wrong in terms of cutting, in terms of weathering, or in terms of gluing it on the wall. So anyway, I'm gonna align this again. I'm gonna hold this, bring it down, and what I, what I want you to do is that select the last box right here, hit pull it, click it, hit shift, then you're gonna drag it. Okay, so you're gonna do another one again, pull it down, hit, click it, hit shift, drag again. Okay, so what you're basically doing here is you're just creating spares just in case when uh, the size is not right or anything like that at least you have a few spares right here you have the medium the small size you have the medium size and the large size so this is going to help you with your alignment process later skill process later so i'm going to show you an example okay now what you're going to do is that you're going to hit print okay we're just going to print this up and then we'll see what happens and then i'll show you from here how we're going to create this poster effect for this diorama wall okay well i've actually created two of this one is harvey both for having them and one is circus in town now I'm going to show you how we're going to apply this to the wall to make it look realistic and weather it at the same time, alright? And now what we're going to do is that we're going to use woman's makeup again and we're going to you put it in a cup and we're going to add some water to it. Now the ratio to add this is probably uh, 1 to 8 now. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use cotton buds to just dab the water and apply on the paper. Now what happens is that the paper now gets all brownish and smudged up and dirty and we just leave it to dry. And once it dries, alright, now what you're going to do is that you're going to just apply glue and just stick it on. And you're going to just weather the paper up to create the effect. So yeah, it's as simple as that. And now what you're going to do is that you're going to zoom in and crop the unwanted areas. And there you can start your photo shoot. Now how you want to shoot this with what? With phones, with DSLR, with mirrorless cameras is entirely up to you. Alright, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, so there you have it. Let me know in the comment sections below what tutorial would you like to see next and uh, hope to see you next time. Hit like if you like this video, subscribe to see more. Thank you, I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.